hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at minimum operations to make a uni value grid problem which is from lead code number 2033 let's now read the problem statement you are given a 2d integer grid of size m by n and an integer x in one operation you can add x to or subtract x from an element in the grid a uni value grid is a grid where all the elements of it are equal Return the minimum number of operations to make a grid univalue. If it is not possible, then you need to return minus 1. Now, if you look at the first example, in this case, it is a 2 by 2 grid and uh, our goal is to make all the values as equal or same. And the second goal is we need to minimize the steps in which we arrive at the same equal value, right? So maybe it may not be always possible to reach to the equal value if it is not possible you need to return minus 1 now the jump size is also mentioned as x equals to 2 that means we can add x any number of times to a value or we can subtract x any number of times to any value right so if we happen to do this then we can actually arrive at a common point which is 4 by making one jump from 2 to 4 and one jump from 6 to 4 by reducing the value uh, 6 by 2 and by reducing the value 8 by 2 two times we can reach to 4 so how many times did we do this operation with x one time addition uh, and one time subtraction and here two time subtraction so four steps were needed and that is why 4 is the result we could not have done this in lower number of steps now if you think about what will be the meeting point and how did we decide that 4 will be the meeting point well if you logically think about it then in the meeting point will lie somewhere between the minimum element and the maximum element because it do not make sense to actually keep meeting point somewhere outside of this range otherwise everyone will have to travel right so the distance is going to increase definitely so the steps will increase so if you think 2 is the minimum and 8 is the maximum within this you can decide about the meeting uh, point but what we can do is we can try linearly about the meeting point like let's say can we meet at 2 so if you meet a, if everyone meets at 2 then what will be the number of steps if everyone meets at 2 the number of steps by this first item will be 0 step second item it will be 1 step by reducing by 2 right for this third item 6 it will take 2 steps by reducing by 2 2 times so total steps are 3 times until now and 8 will be converted to 2 by subtracting by 2 3 times so total steps will be 6 now again you can check with uh, what will be the number of steps if I keep 3 as the meeting point well 3 will not be possible because 2 cannot reach to 3 by adding or subtracting x as many times as you want right now you will try with 4 5 6 7 8 and out of all these tries you will take the one with the minimum tries right that is how you to solve it now if you think about what will be the range of items then you can see here that the range of item can range from 1 to 10 to the power of 4 so you can say that the min max gap will be equals to 10 to the power of 4 and the number of items in the grid will be maximum 10 to the power of 5 so if you follow this linear approach then it will be 10 to the power of 9 number of operations which is greater than 10 to the power of 8 and definitely it will not run in one second because 10 to the power 8 is the limit for our one second right so this will definitely give you tle you don't need to solve by this approach now let's look at some observation which will help us optimize our solution now if you think about how to uh, check if an element a and b are given where should be the meeting point and will they ever meet or not given the operation with the value x that means you can add x or you can subtract x as many times as you want so our goal is to make a and b equal and we need to do it in minimum number of steps so first i have drawn a number line where it shows a and b separately right and uh, all the step sizes are in steps of 5 you, you can just check it out right so that it is easy for us to understand so x equals to 5 now from a can you reach to b with the step size of x if you take plus x you will reach to 15 again another plus x to 20 plus x plus x so it took four steps to reach to b if you had reached to a from b it will still take four steps right because the step size is same so the number of steps taken will be four now if you are thinking why we are reaching from a to b or b to a and why not anywhere in the middle like let's say even if you are decided 25 then still a will take three steps to reach to 25 and b will take one step 
so the number of steps are not going to change in between a and b and why we are not meeting outside of this a because that will be useless because a will have to travel and also b will have to make redundant travel right so in this case if you take 5 as the meeting point a will take one step and b will take five steps which is completely useless so in between a pair if you want to uh, meet then you can decide any value in the range of a to b but it should not be a random value because if you had decided at let's say 17 to be the meeting point it will never be a meeting point because if you take a jump size x you cannot reach to 17 okay so this means that whatever is the value a if you take a mod of x whatever is the remainder coming that same remainder should come for this b that is b mod of x right so in this case a was at 10 and b was at 30 so if you take mod of 5 then it will be 0 for a and it will be 0 for b as well if a was at 10 and let's say b was not at 30 but b was at 31 then they will never be able to meet okay because b mod x was 1 and a mod x will be 0 they will never meet so their mod value should be same so if b was at 31 then a should have been at 11 or 16 or 21 or 26 then they will be able to meet right i think this point is clear so if you try with uh, this 12 32 if the pairs are 12 32 and the x value being 5 will they ever be able to meet that question can be answered by taking mod of 5 and here you will get a 2 you will get a 2 so yes they will be able to meet if you ask is here can e and f ever meet then you find mod of x here x was equals to 5 this will give you 0 this will give you 1 so immediately you can say that they will never be able to meet so a and b can become equal only when a mod of x is equals to b mod of x between a pair right now this first condition has been solved like how to understand if a and b can be made equal or not right now the second case is to do it in the minimum number of steps okay so if you want to find it in minimum number of steps then between a pair as i already know the meeting point must be in between a and b it should not be outside of a or b right then you will always be able to convert a and b to a uni value that means the same value so i think we are clear with the pair now let's extend our understanding to an array and let's say that the array is having four items 9 14 29 39 if i represent it on the number line you see these are the values and i can assume that let's say x is equals to 5 okay i'm assuming x equals to 5 so can they ever meet the first question is can they ever meet the first goal can they ever meet so they can meet if each pair can meet each pair means if 9 can meet with 14 9 can meet with 29 9 can meet with 39 then 14 can meet with 29 14 can meet with 39 and 29 can meet with 39 so if all the pairs can meet with each other with the given x value then definitely everyone can meet right but you can reduce this like you know that how, how to check that condition by checking a mod of x should be equals to b mod of x then a and b can meet so i can say that if a i mean array at i mod of x is equal for everybody is the same for everybody then everybody can meet at a common point otherwise they cannot meet right so if a, for all pair c comma d c mod of x equals d mod of x then the array can be made univalue or more optimally you can say that if you can check a i mod of x for every value of i in the array then the array can be made as univalue so in this case find out 9 mod of uh, 5 will be 4 14 mod of 5 will be 4 29 mod of 5 will be 4 39 mod of 5 will be 4 so all the remainder values are equal that means they are lying at a multiple of x so now we have met our validity goal that means the answer is possible in this case we can convert every value to the same value now the second goal was to get it done in minimum number of steps right so if you consider these four values 9 14 29 39 then definitely you will have to decide a meeting point in between the two middle items if you have even number of items then in between the two middle items you can decide any point to be the meeting point but it should be a multiple of your x that means the mod value should come as same so if you decide 14 it is fine otherwise you can also decide 19 as the meeting point otherwise 24 as the meeting point or 29 as the meeting point these are the only four possible meeting points right in between the two middle items so that 
half items from the left side have to travel and half items from the right side have to travel okay so that is how we are deciding but if you have odd number of items like in the second example 9 14 29 34 and 39 then in this case you can decide the middle point to be the meeting point and it is absolutely fine there is no problem okay so half items from the left can come here and half items from the right can come to this point okay so this is how you will minimize the number of steps so given a grid what i can do is i can flatten the grid into a single dimensional array and while flattening i can also check for each of the value ai mod of x value which should be equals to the remainder value so in this case i will find the array at 0 0 that means the grid at 0 0 mod of x is equals to 4 now all the values mod of x should be equals to 4 otherwise you can easily return false that means the uni value is not possible right you can return minus 1 so in this case while flattening i checked that 9 mod of 5 is 4 29 mod of 5 is 4 and all the values mod of 5 is 4 you got the values now i want an arrangement on the number line so that i can determine the middle point if you consider what is the middle point it is called the median right and in order to get a median you need a sorted array so that's why we will be sorting it flattening will take order of mn complexity sorting of mn items will take mn log mn so you have sorted all the items now everybody is arranged so in order to find the middle item you can simply take n by 2 n is 4 here because we have 4 items so you can say that index 2 can be the meeting point yes you can have any meeting point from 1 to 2 it is fine so i can pick 2 as the meeting point and once you have decided it is an optimal meeting point then you need to bring everybody to this index 2 and calculate the steps how to do that you have to calculate the gap let's say you are iterating for all of these items and if you are at array at 0 then what is the gap between the median it is 29 minus 9 which is 20 20 is the gap between these two items and what is the jump size it is x which is 5 so how many steps it will take 4 steps so add 4 and you can add the steps to absolute value of array at i minus array at median by x why absolute because i can also go to the right side and hence it might give you negative result so for this 14 the gap is 15 and 15 by 5 is 3 so add 3 to this it becomes 7 for this 29 the gap is 0 for this 39 the gap is 10 so 10 by 5 will be 2 so the number of steps will be 9 and that is how you get the minimum number of steps to make the grid a univalue grid right if it is possible if it is not possible you need to return minus 1 while doing the flattening process itself right so if you consider this then the most time taking process is the sorting which is mn log mn and the step count was mn even the flattening was mn right so the time complexity can be considered to be mn log mn and the space complexity is mn because we are flattening and storing it in a single dimensional array i hope this is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the grid and the value x so initially i will be taking a single dimensional array and the remainder value grid at 0 0 mod x the first step is to insert all the items into the single dimensional array and while inserting i will be checking the mod value and see that if it is e equals to remainder or not at any point if it is not equals to remainder i can return minus one that means it will be impossible to make a univalue grid otherwise if it is possible we move to step two which is about sorting and once you have sorted you find the median item which is the halfway item and we will decide that everybody will meet at this median item that means half items will come from the left half items from the right and this will always be an optimal meeting point and the third uh, step is to count the number of steps taken so we will just be iterating for all the items taking the gap and divide the x value which is the jump size to count how many steps it takes and we will take absolute value because from left side it, it, the gap will be positive but from the right side it will come as negative so we just ca uh, care about the distance not the positive and negative values 
and finally we will return the minimum steps as our result i hope this is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you